what's going on YouTube welcome back to the video blog one more time the Hoxton trend chappy chaps okay so what I thought I'll do real quick this time for you is show you the fake versus real NMD trainers a lot of people have been asking me about doing fake NMDs for a long while and I finally got around to it you saw the teaser trailer video that I did for the fake versus real um, it was really funny I put that video up and everyone was like I was like, which one's which one's real, which one's fake? <laughs> More or less everyone just went, that's easy Hoxton man, it's the white one, it's the white one, it's the all white one, that's easy bro, it's the white one. And I was like, is there even a point of me doing this video? It's like everyone knows it already, but I know there's going to be some of you out there that, that don't know how to spot. If I'm to be honest with you, I'm not hugely familiar with the Adidas NMD trainers. I would have found it really, really difficult to spot. So yeah, this is the white one here. Obviously, this one is the fake one for, you, for all of you that don't know. Um, and these are the genuine ones right here. These are the real ones. Now, I studied these trainers and I looked at them really hard and it really wasn't easy to spot. It really wasn't easy to spot at all. So I'm gonna try and point out a few of the things that I noticed straight off. So one of the things that I'm gonna show you on this is the back of the trainer. If we can see there, we look at the back of the trainer, of the two trainers, you can see that this part here is longer um, than this part you can see that there this this strip here is longer than that bit here that's one of the things I noticed the second thing I noticed as well if we look here we can see there's a little break in the line right there when it really it should just be straight like that there there shouldn't be any break so that that goes to show that the quality there is not great you can see the lines a little bit bent these are ever such small details though man this is not something that you're easily gonna spot straight away if you're you know just taking a quick glance the second thing that I noticed as well is we look at the NMD trainers if we look the the block that goes in the bottom of the trainer there it sticks out a lot more than the white one you can see there that the white block here doesn't really stick out as much when I was researching online the information that I got is that when you put these on they do not feel anywhere near as comfortable as the proper NMD trainers should so that's one of the other things that I spotted as well if we look inside the trainer there if you look inside that bit you can see it's got the holes there going around you can see there it's got the holes I'll try and show you that yeah you can see the holes that it's got in there and if we look at the back of the fake one there are no holes guys it's just simply the pad in there as you can see they've got the boost inside you can see there they've got the boost and it's got the uh, kind of hexagon design on the inside if we look at the boost it's a little bit faded a little bit faded there and whereas really it should have a nice thick Print, as you can see again ever such small detail on these really really small the other thing to note is that the holes on this trainer are a lot more finer a lot more smaller if we look at the fakes they're, they're kind of big the holes the plastic on the front of the Adidas this kind of rubberish type material that goes over the holes there that comes all the way, there, all the way down we can see that the fake one, you can see they're so lazy they actually left it out on this one. The other the other shoe has it here, as you can see, but on the other one they've kind of left it out. So little details like that you've got to notice. I'm I'm sure if we looked at some other fakes, they would have actually they would they would have it on there, but this one they just didn't. So that was one of the ways to tell that that one was not genuine. The biggest, biggest giveaway totally is that what I noticed if you look at the boost system it's got these little kind of dots you can just about see it there and they actually go all the way throughout the boost part of the training you can see there the three little dots that go around whereas we look at the fake there's no dots there's no little tiny dots okay see the dots there you can just about see it very very small we look at the fake ones, there's no dots. That, to me, is the biggest giveaway. But you're never going to see that, man, if it's kind of far away. You're never really going to notice that. So that's that's one of the things. You can see on this part of the trainer here, it still has the holes going all the way through. But if we look at the genuine one, it doesn't. You can see there's an extra bit of material there going through. So I don't know if that's the same through all the NMD trainers so I'm just looking at these trainers here the fakes you can see it's got the pad in there on the original but on the fake they've just continued to use the um, the holes going all the way through also if you look at the stripes one two three you can see that the stripes they clearly go over the uh, mesh material so that you can't see through it so if you can see here you can see the plastic actually goes all the way through uh, you can see it through the plastic, the mesh system, when really when you've got the originals, the nice thick strip, it covers it completely, so it shouldn't go through like, it shouldn't bobble like that, 
that's probably one of the fastest ways to tell as well that it shouldn't do that and if, even if you look at this it, it, it's not done very well it's kind of curved at the top it's kind of curved there as you can see it's not very well done but if you look at the original one it's very nice and clean okay so that's some of the differences there I got the fakes on eBay and the joke thing was these were about 70 pound so they weren't really too far off they weren't really too far off I can't remember how much these were I think it was like 110 but I don't understand why you'd spend 70 on these and then not have the the comfort of the, uh, the ultra boost system um, and also they just it just looks this looks like it would just fall apart really really quickly as well so yeah so that's it guys that's it that's the um, fake versus real NMDs I'm gonna actually be reviewing these NMDs really soon and I've also got these Ultra Boost trainers here. I'm going to be reviewing these for you guys as well. So stay tuned for those guys. I'll be reviewing those two trainers, okay? So that's it for the Fake vs. Raw, man. Really quick video on this. Lots more videos coming. Stay tuned. Uh, make sure to subscribe, like, and share all the videos so people know that the word is getting about, okay? So that's it, man. I'm out of here, yo. I'm going to catch you lot in a bit. Peace out. I've, I've always recommended Aphrodite for Stone Island. They've always got lots of selection in. Look at that. Ah, oh, mate. That one should have been at the front. What's that one doing at the back? That jumper is dope. That is so nice. Nylon metal jacket there. I didn't know any, but I thought I was a fake badge, but it ain't just a display. <laughs>